Um, late in the fourth quarters, uh, I mean, it was tough with Jalen out. You didn't have that option, but, you know, they're taking the ball out of J uh, Jason's hands. Yeah. And, you know, obviously you talk about him making the next right play, but what can you do to make it so he's not the one that's blitzed and giving it up and never getting it back? If we like the matchup like we did with uh, the 42nd mark, uh, he had Bullock on him. You know, if, if he if we like the matchup that he has in those time in those situations, I've mentioned that I'm not going to call it recording timeout. in progress. I'm not going to call a timeout and let them adjust and put Finney Smith or somebody on him. If we recognize that. Uh, don't bring the screen up. You know, we like we were trying to get a two for one late in the game with 30, I think 40 seconds left. And I think they ran Doncic up. Jay Rich came up and allowed them to double team. So we want to clear out, give them space if we like the matchup. But at the same time, we had the numbers on the backside and Marcus drove it. And to our credit, he got fouled. Last two minute report said it should have been a foul and would have put us in the bonus there. So he got off the ball. We had a three on two on the backside. And Marcus drove Porzingis. So he actually made the right play just like he did against Chicago. But there are ways to avoid it. If we like the matchup, don't bring a, a secondary defender up they may still try to take it out of his hands. And that's when we rely on the guys behind them to make the right play. And so are, are guys coming up and, and bringing that second defender, are they setting the screens on their own? And that one, uh, Josh had Doncic on him. I think he was trying to bring Doncic up, a guy we were um, putting in a lot of actions, but it allowed them to double team there. And you can see me on the film, I'm telling everybody kind of flatten out. Uh, Josh just made a read on his own. And, you know, with that, if he recognizes Bullock and not Finney Smith or one of their better defenders, uh, you could give him space there, so he doesn't. So we don't allow the double team. You may in that situation where Marcus obviously drew a foul but doesn't get a call. Certain guys just aren't going to get that call. Certain guys are. Does, does Marcus or other guys who maybe don't get the calls have to learn not to maybe rely on officiating because that was a huge possession. Yeah. It didn't work out. Although, he, and then obviously after the fact. It doesn't help you. He, it showed that he got fouled. How do you let? How does Marcus handle those situations when he's getting fouled, but you're putting it in the hands of the ref? Well, I think you just continue to make the right play, which is poisoning us on the closeout, driving him, and and he drew the contact. Um, at the time, the ref said it was a non-basketball play, which is not the case. The two-minute report said he got fouled before the gather, which would be if we weren't in bonus, it would take you off a shot. But being that we're in bonus, we got the foul. So like I said, they doubled Jason. We moved it, got it to the weak side. Poor thing is closing out. A guy we had uh, went out a little bit there in the second half. And so he made the right play with not settling, driving him. And in that case, there's nothing you can do. He made the right play. He drew a foul um, that they didn't call. And so uh, just making the right play. And like I said, if you don't bring the double up with Jason, um, that's one thing. But once you do get out of his hands, what we did a good job of was picking it apart on the second side all game. Do you look at the, the, the Doncic shot? Do you, do you look at that again? Do you think great shot against uh, great defense? I mean, I know Robert maybe could have come up and cut him off a little bit uh, when he was dribbling left toward the sideline. Do you kind of examine that or do you just attribute that to a great shot? Who could have cut him off? I'm sorry. Robert Williams. Oh, kind of as he's coming. Um, you know, they tried to put Robert in the action. We pre-switched it to get Josh on him. And what we had done in the fourth quarter was let Josh, Jalen, Jason, and Marcus guard him. And if they tried to put Robert or Dennis or Peyton at the time, we would go after him and blitz him or take it out of his hands. And so we got a credible defender on him, obviously. Um, they obviously cleared out that side so he can get to his left. Rob is there, but he's on Bullock in the corner, so that's a tough one. And Doncic is a willing passer. The guy that I, I saw that made the right read was Marcus coming across, leaving Porzingis on the high quadrant and, and actually getting in his peripheral there. So um, Josh contested incredibly. You can see that. And he had three guys around him there. Um, at that point, it's do we want to take it out of his hands or not? That's the decision. And we have been blitzing, blitzing him most of the fourth quarter, um, and it worked behind it. Our choice was to let our, our best defenders guard him there. And he did shoot over a crowd on a nice contest. So you give him credit on that. But as we watch film today, um, it was more of the things that led up to that the offensive rebounds we gave up, uh, obviously taking the foul there. So we couldn't get the last shot. So I'm not as concerned about the shot. It was a tough shot for a guy who's been struggling this year so far. But it's the stuff that led up to that, that we shouldn't even have been in that situation. On Zoom call, Coach, we have Sherrod Blakely. Yes, Coach, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, t as you guys were going through film study, Jason had one of his more efficient games, uh, 12 for 19, shooting 32 points. 
was there anything that you guys saw in film that was that kind of maybe uh, was a little bit different than maybe what we've seen in some of the games he struggled? Was he pretty much getting the same types of shots he normally gets? He really was getting the same shots. And I've said it the last few games that he's getting high quality shots that traditionally he makes. And we knew he'd snap out of it at any moment. Um, the one thing he was doing is making some quicker decisions and we tell him every time he holds the ball, it's a chance for them to load up and double him possibly and, and get it out of his hands. So he was making some quicker decisions overall, but the shots he made were the shots he's been making his whole career. And once he got confident and got going, he was stepping into threes, doing what he does. So it wasn't a huge difference as far as shot quality, um, but just some quicker decisions overall, which we've been encouraging him to do all year. Final Zoom question from Bobby Manning. Hey, you may uh, to go a little further on the shooting. Looks like you guys are fourth in wide open shots created this year, 27th and you know, efficiency on those shots. I know you've talked a lot about, you know, guys going the other way and shots falling and that kind of thing and you liking those looks, but you know, as it kind of builds up over a little bit of a volume here, do you, you know, mix up lineups? Do you start going downhill toward the rim in those situations when shots aren't falling early? How do you kind of look at that as a coach? Yeah, we, we encourage the downhill drives, and a lot of those have led to those open shots. Um, we talk about playing fast, making quick decisions. You know, point five is what we mentioned, you know, catch it, shoot it, pull it, or pass it. And they've done that. And to your point, the quality of shots are great. The percentages haven't been great. And, you know, that's a little bit of the, the tale of two halves in that game. We were two for 17 in the first half and seven for 14 in the second half. So we got the same looks. Guys knocked them down, but we're going to encourage them to be aggressive, take those shots. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to say those are going to fall anymore. I just, I'm just going to say it's going to get better, and we're going to keep working on those shots to get those shots. And so percentages that we all feel will balance out, um, but to encourage them not to play by themselves in the crowd, get off the ball, and keep doing what we're doing, which reflects in your numbers. Uh, Al Horford was held to about 27 minutes in this, in this last game. Um, and if I recall correctly, he wasn't in late. Um, was that just a, a personnel thing, or you, are you trying to really keep his minutes down after playing bigger minutes earlier? No, it, was, it wasn't anything to do with keeping his minutes down. We'd love to keep him in the 30 range, but it was the fact that Rob was playing well on both ends late in the game. Um, obviously, it was a lob threat at the basket, and got a few late in the game there, made some great effort plays, and then defensively, what we were doing was going after them with Rob in the action. So if they tried to pick on him, we were blitzing or hitting anyway. So to me, it wasn't like they could pick on him or Al. We were going to take it out of their hands if Rob was involved. So it worked a little bit offensively and defensively with Rob in the game. But it was a credit to what he was doing more so than anything Al didn't do. I'm just curious. I'm sorry. I did come late. So if you've answered this already, but the points of emphasis, this is pretty rare to get three days off, two days of practice. What are you guys focused on? Continue to do what we've done uh, last few games defensively, you know, touch on those things, reiterate those points. But uh, we're really digging into the offensive side a little bit more now. Uh, you know, we we feel like we have a lot of good schemes defensively, and, and we've seen the effort pick up over the last few games. So continue to rely on that, but off offensively see what fits us best, uh, especially with Jalen being out these next few games, what works for certain units, and um, trying to shore that up over the next few games. We'll wrap it up right there. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.